Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be diving back into the world of Borderlands 3 with a melee build centered around Amara. Amara is a force to be reckoned with in close combat, and this build emphasizes just how deadly she can be with a little help from some powerful melee oriented items. So first up, I'm using the Blade Fury. This weapon fires knives instead of bullets, and with the right skills and bonuses, it can pack a serious punch. Every single time this gun fires, a knife projectile comes out of the gun, doing melee damage instead of gun damage. This still works off of the weapon damage and melee damage collectively, and you can get this weapon easily from the final vault card. I'm going to be using the fish slap grenade mod here just to benefit from the pure melee build that I'm making. This is also just going to allow us to do devastating damage and uh, it's going to build up as long as it follows into various targets. Normally just one or two grenades can easily wipe a group of enemies alone so you should have no problem there. Alright next we're using the launch pad artifact. This artifact rolled with lifesteal attached to its melee attack so every time we shoot we regen health. So now our bladed fury is somewhat like a moxie's hail but more efficient. We're going to be mainly using this to buff our action skill cooldown and our melee damage. However, with the life still imbued to our melee, anything we do regarding our damage will also supply us with health. I'm going to be using a breaker mod. Uh, although this isn't really necessary, it is extremely helpful in the bonuses we gain from our brawl tree, as well as some nice increases to our weapon damage and our fire rate. And we also get a nice action skill cooldown. I would also like to note that this mod allows Amara to push extremely close to her enemies with little to no worries at all because of the buff she gains with damage reduction. And of course we can't forget about the brawler ward shield. This shield not only provides us with a boost to melee damage, but it also adds a bonus melee damage to all of our attacks whenever I take damage. Now when you put all of these items together, Amara becomes an unstoppable melee machine. Using her Phase Grasp action skill and various melee skills from the Fist of the Elements skill tree, she can freeze, shock, and incinerate enemies while dealing massive melee damage. Okay, well that just leaves us with the skill points to go over, so let's just get into it. I mostly use the Brawl and the Fist of the Elements tree within this build, however I did use the Enlightened Force tree just to pull points into no mistakes in nature, a skill that pushes my melee damage up to 65% after applying a status effect. This is immediately applied once the phase grasp on an enemy occurs. Now let's get into the bulk of our skills. I went with full points and personal space, giving us 54% of extra bonus gun damage the closer we are to targets. I needed some passive health regen, so I went with 2 points and clarity. Upon using phase grasp, we immediately start to health regen. I ended up going with full points into arms deal for a full 20% area damage boost within our phase grasp. Helping Hands also got full points for damage resistance for Amara since we're close to mobs we want as much resistance for survivability as I can get. I also put a point in Mindfulness. As the recharge delay and movement speed upon damage hit boosts our stacks granting us up to at least 25 stacks allowing us to move so much faster around the battlefield. Find Your Center happens to be a huge skill for Amara. It boosts not only her melee damage by 100% but it also increases our melee's range for an additional 75%. Now, our mod also boosts this skill a point further, doubling its effects. And now I put about 3 points into one with nature, giving us more elemental resistance and a little bit more health. The skill do one to others gets 1 point, and it allows us to occasionally toss our elemental orb back at the sender. This is really good for crowd control. I put full points into jab cross. This skill works so well with our weapon. It works like this. You deal melee damage with your gun, and your skill damage gets buffed. So as long as you're firing your Blade Fury, you will always have boosted damage since it carries as a melee attack with gun damage increased. Now Guardian Angel allows Amara to get an instant second win, as well as restoring all of your health and creating a Nova around you knocking back all your enemies. Now with a 2 minute window of a cooldown, this is a super nice free res if anything does go sour. But the last point I put into this tree was in Blitz, which just increases our melee damage to 100%. Now on to my favorite and final tree on Amara, the Fist of the Elements. Anima gets full points to double our attuned elements status effect damage. Steady Hands is only going to get 2 points to focus on accuracy and handling for our weapon. Tempest however is going to get full points. By increasing our overall elemental damage output to 30%, it gives Amara much more time to lay waste using her grasp. Our Fish Slap also gets a nice 10% buff towards its shock damage as well. Illuminated Fist grants us more melee damage, and it converts our attuned element into our melee attacks. I put full points in the wildfire to spread as many status effects to nearby enemies. Dread is an extremely useful skill. Since I'm only using one weapon here, I would like to not have to reload as much as possible. Once the enemy I phase grasp dies, the magazine automatically gets refilled. 
And with each enemy grasp, we also get a gun damage stack on top of that. Indiscriminate gets full points, mostly for the ricochet damage when I have an enemy phase grasp. However, the ricochet damage also applies to freely shooting enemies outside of a phase grasp as well. I put a point in deep well just for the magazine size, and another point in catharsis for the area skill damage within the explosion it creates of other status effects. Sustainment, again for the use of our attuned element upon grasp, we have lifesteal. This is all for survivability. Conflux is very similar to Maya's skill from Borderlands 2, giving one status effect the chance to apply other status effects. This is a really nice synergy for all the elements to hit and mob several enemies all at once. And lastly, Forceful Expression, which gives Amara an 18% bonus to our gun, grenade, and shield damage of our attuned element. Now to just go over our action skills real quick, I'm using Ties That Bind, which allows us to grasp one enemy, but that one enemy will also chain link to any other enemy close to them. This is the bulk of our build damage output because anyone connected will be dead or close to it. The use of the Allure Augment is useful to allow enemies to be grouped together for ultimate disposal. As for the attune elements, you can choose whatever you like, however I know that Cryo is somewhat bugged within our abilities, so I usually just swap between Corrosive or Fire to help mitigate between special or specific enemy variants. Amara quickly became one of my favorite Vault Hunters with this build. This again was more of a challenge build in the beginning, but I didn't want to have to struggle to find all the pieces I'm using here, and I was extremely surprised at how easy this was to set up. As usual, I'm going to be leaving the game save and the Loot Lemon page so you guys can see the build and copy it however you want to. And I really highly recommend you try this build out. It has so much versatility and is easily accessible to most within completion of the main game. And with all these items and skills combined, Amara becomes an absolute wrecking ball on the battlefield. She can take on the toughest enemies with ease and clear out rooms in a matter of seconds. So if you're looking for a build that'll get you up close and personal with your enemies, look no further than this build. It's a ton of fun to play and incredibly powerful when used correctly. Thank you all for the constant support on the channel, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to sub and like the video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.